Hello, everyone. My name is Yonghui Ma. I'm from Xiamen University. Today, I would like to present you with a recent study published in the Journal of iMeta. It's about the donor's experiences and attitudes of fecal microbiota transplantation, an empirical bioethics study from China. This is the abstract. We know that fecal microbiota transplantation is a technique that transplants gut microbiota from a healthy donor into a patient. It is currently the most effective treatment for CDI as the treatment strategy. Studies have shown that FMT has potential applications in treating GI disease and other systematic diseases. Although the exact mechanism is still unclear, FMT is gaining popularity and enthusiasm both in China and worldwide. Selecting and retaining healthy and regular microbiota donors are one of the key components in the success of FMT. However, the current situation indicates that recruiting and retaining donors are challenging. It is impossible to provide an accurate panorama of FMT without evaluating it from the donor's perspective, as donors are critical to the success of FMT. Therefore, this study is focused on microbiota donors to investigate the distinctive experiences and views toward the action of FMT and related ethical issues. It is hoped that through identifying the obstacles and analyzing the ethical issues, a feasible and acceptable moral guidance can be reached. This is uh, the basic information of the donors. In this survey, 47 male donors and 53 female donors. The age of the donors ranged from 17 to 48 years old. In terms of education level, a large portion of the donors were postgraduates followed by undergraduates. Students were the majority of the donors. Donors' monthly income was mainly between 5,000 and 15,000 RMB. In figure two, more than half of the donors are in medical related professions and have already known about FMT. When asked about their perception towards FMT, miraculous and nature were the top two options from the donors' responses. 60% had already had experiences of donating gut microbiota, half of which have donated more than five times cumulatively. 40% of the donors have been screened and qualified but have not yet donated. When asked if the donors perceived any risk in donating gut microbiota, only 53 donors answered affirmatively, and of the remaining 47 donors, 30 thought there were no risks associated with the act, and 17 were not sure if there were risks. At the same time, with respect to the risk in receiving FMT for patients, Almost 80% of the donors believe there are physiological risks, while 52% for psychological risks and 43% for social risks. 86% of the donors hoped to be informed about the health risk of their donation, while a large majority of the donors want to know information about the utility of their donated gut microbiota and a grade being used in future open research. 37% of the donors said the were not sure about the open research, and but felt that subsequent studies that differ from the originally informed study would require their reconsent, and only 2% of the donors said it not necessary. For donors who choose additional income or the motivations for donating, they were more likely to believe they have the ownership of the gut microbiota than those who did not. And there, therefore, we can just wrap up this study. Firstly, enhance awareness of the moral responsibility of the research, researchers' ethical supervision by the ethics committee, the RRBs, and urgently needed. We also propose that the Chinese regulation of human genetic resources should be amended and extended to also include human microbiome research and applications. And thirdly, process consent is recommended. And lastly, efforts on increasing public awareness of FMT and donation are necessary not only to improve donor recruitment, but also to reduce false and negative perceptions of FMT. That's everything from me. Thank you very much.